birds at my house. I have not ever, to my knowledge, had a bird death with these cords on a window at, at three houses now. And I know all of us hate that, that bird death thing. I did have one of those windows, the, the one on the left hand side there, is, um, it is back up under a porch. It's in the house I'm living in now. And I didn't think there's any chance birds were going to kill themselves flying under that porch and hitting that window. But Thanksgiving, of course, a gorgeous little male pine warbler, when my great niece and nephew were there, slams into that window, breaks his neck, and, you know, I'm dealing with a five-year-old and a bird death. So, so I, I, I just talked to him about it, and I said, as, right after Thanksgiving's over, the cords are going on this window. It will not happen again. And so that's when I went ahead and put the cords on that window. But, but that's what it looks like. Now, you do, it ha somebody asked me earlier, does it need to be outside? Yes, it needs to be outside. So these are four inches on center, and you know we don't have much wind, but it just, a whisper makes these move, which also helps to prevent um, the bird strikes. I meant to tell you that at the first house, which is the one on the right, we had a crow that learned to flush birds just like hawks do. Oh. And the birds would hit the window, they, he, they, somehow they didn't seem to flush as fast, but they would hit the window, be addled for a little while, and the crow would pick up his meal. Oh. One crow, I learned to do it. Okay, and then... Smart birds. Um, and then... Um, so that's, that's from the inside looking out. And then let's go to another option, the next slide. So this is called Feather Friendly Dots. That's on Rick and Chris Cash's house. And they have a window, same situation, tall, high back deck. Feeders are, I don't know, eight or 10 feet away, just like mine were on that, that first house. And um, they, they've used Feather Friendly <laughs> Dots. And Chris bought a sample of the material back there. She she will be here after the meeting if you want to um, if you want to talk to her about that. Then are you going to talk about a seven parachute cord here? You go ahead. Um, so so you need three things: the picture wire, four things: the picture wire, cup hooks, a drill, add the tools in, and and parachute cord. So Norma and I talked about it. Rather than you have to go hunt or order a huge roll of parachute cord that you don't need much of, we're just going to buy a, a good sized roll, have it here next month, we'll just work it out so that it's not a, a money making thing, we just want the birds saved, and you, you come prepared next month for the windows that you want to cover knowing how many feet of cord you need, and so you can buy it at cost. It'll just keep you from having to buy a big roll of this stuff. Parachute cord is available in any craft store as well because people craft braid store. them into those, those safety I'm bracelets sure and stuff too, and I, they come in camo and anything I else you priced, might like. I haven't priced them in a craft store. My guess is it's going more to cost expensive. you a lot more money yeah. than buying from a hmm. two or five. I'm just sitting there car. saying if somebody decides they want it, right? A different exactly. Color. Quickly. Yeah. Does oh, well. it matter what color? I prefer I, the first one I bought. I think was dark brown. But I use camo color, that's what this is, or, or, or dark brown. Actually, I don't remember. I can't tell much difference between the camo, which is a little green to it. Okay. One more, and then I, we need, I need to get out of here and turn it over to Um in, in terms of length, 